Hello, people. I bet you thought I ran off. It's been like several minutes since I've been here. Anyway, I figured I'd just like throw some makeup on my face. And I'm going to remind people that I have hooded eyes. Very old hooded eyes. Well, all right, I'll be 63 in a few days. But... Yeah, they're kind of old hooded eyes. They're not really very old hooded eyes. I mean, you get somebody 90 and they're going to look at me and go, smart Alec. <laughs> anyway, I have hooded eyes. See? All that stuff just like rolls down. And it causes a mess. Makes it hard to get the makeup to look right. Makes it hard to put makeup where you want it so that it can be seen. This is the Elf Lash and Brow Serum. I'm trying to re -get, regrow my brows some. And take care of my lashes because they are sparse and I've got an autoimmune issue that don't help and I was born Toehead blonde. I mean, white blonde, right? I didn't look like I had hair until I was about two. And my eyebrows and my lashes have never really darkened up to what would be considered their full potential. They're, they're still pretty dang pale, plus this area through here has been plucked to death for years. So, there you go. Now, if you've got deep-set eyes, as opposed to hooded eyes, you're going to have the same problem. There's all this rubbing stuff going on, because with deep-set eyes, it's folding back in behind the eyeball a little bit instead of drooping down. But that takes a whole different set of workarounds to deal with. If you've got deep set eyes instead of hooded eyes, or if you are confused as to how to tell the difference, go over to 4F Beauty and listen to Miss Angie tell you all about it because she's got deep set eyes while I've got hooded eyes and she does it's a great tutorial on it it's wonderful and there's no need for me to reinvent the wheel by creating another one so just go watch her it'll be good for you That way you'll know what you're working with. Anyway, I got my final grade for the most recent class. For those of you who haven't ever been here before, I'm in college. I had my parents telling me I would never go. So, even though they have moved on, I'm going to college because I want to. And I'm doing really well so far, at least according to everything I've been told by the advisors and all that stuff. 
And my grades have been looking pretty good. I got to notice that since I'm an online student and I'm taking less than one class at a time, I'm taking less than two classes at a time. Let me get this right. It's kind of hard to take less than one class at a time. But since I'm taking less than two classes at a time, even though my grades and my grade point average and all that would normally put me on the president's list and the dean's list, I get no list because I'm taking the classes one at a time. And I'm like, that's so common for somebody who's doing the online classes because of everything else they got going on. I don't know why they do that. So anyway, yeah, I got some pretty good grades. I'm pretty proud of that. Put some eyebrows on here. Doodly do, doodly do, doodly do, doodly do. Yeah. So how is everybody? I'm doing mostly okay. We've spent most of the summer in one of the big drought and overheat sections of the country. And the drought has gotten so bad and the heat is so bad that we've got a bunch of farmers out here that are losing chunks of crops. And part of the big deal with that is the crops they are losing is a lot of the feed grains and the like the alfalfa for feed and that kind of thing. So hay is short, grains are short. So the ranchers out here are having trouble getting feed for their critters. And if you can't feed them, <clears throat> it's not fair to try to keep them. So now we've got people, one of our local banks out here is offering meat locker loans and what it is is they are loaning people money to where they can buy a freezer excuse me and if they've got the need for it and have or if people want to go to excuse me go together and do it you can buy a whole cow and they'll loan you the money because at this point with the ranchers not being able to feed their stock they're going to have to call the herds a little bit harder than they normally would <clears throat> and so they're like, here, you don't have a freezer for it. We'll, we'll help you buy the freezer too. You know? So things are going to get kind of weird over the winter. Fall and winter prices are going to be really strange. The grains are going to go through the roof because people, the, literally the, the grain fields and the hay fields pretty much just burnt up. If you've ever gone through um, farm territory and seen those big arms that go around on wheels to water things. 
the people out here were have been watering by the time that thing makes its full circle and gets back to where it started the water that it laid down first instead of being able to soak in it was so hot that it was evaporating off and still and burning up the plants it was ugly hot and it's been several days since we've had clear air out here because of all of the wildfires we don't have any that are like right on top of us currently kind of like we did last year um, but they're close enough that being in this valley it just kind of sits here anyway I'm playing with the iHeart Revolution sweet and tasty this is the popcorn and I'm playing with it because I'm kind of the clothes are kind of working with this so we'll see how it goes now this was supposed to be the video for this past Saturday it's supposed to be and this past Saturday I had myself all decked and managed to spill let's see I was going to film Friday I spilled dinner down the front of my shirt didn't get anything done Saturday I was doing one of my I am exhausted I'm laying here days on account of I was and I did and then Sunday, I got caught up in, we managed to get a hold of a really nice leg of lamb. And I was busy roasting it and keeping an eye on that. So, yeah. So I didn't get anything done Sunday either. I'm going, dang it. I've got to do a book show and I still haven't done any makeup for a bit so let me just go do a two on and then the makeup one will probably be this coming Saturday which is only like four days before the book publishes but it's also going to be the start of the next class. Now, the class I just finished was Abnormal Psychology. Not like I know anything about that at all. I had personal anecdotes that thrilled the instructor. It was great. Told him all about growing up with a psychopath and being bipolar and all of that lovely stuff and it's like Ugh. but I had a blast with that class I really did it was interesting so the next one is social psychology I'm still still every so often I look at myself and I go self what were you thinking major in English creative writing and two minors one in business writing the other in psychology what the hell was I thinking I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. It's just this is how it how it went. It's like my 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 
counselor is go went. So you've got all of these, um, all these openings for your electives. How would you feel about doing a minor to, to help pick some of those? And I said, that sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. And then she said, you know, you've got enough um, space here and good enough grades that I believe you could probably do a double minor. And I'm going, do a what? <laughs> I should have left it at do a what? Except I still would have had to come up with the classes that I wanted to take. To fulfill the rest of the stuff. Just to finish the, the main degree program. Anybody who's got this palette, I just grabbed Share from down at the bottom. Kind of a chocolatey brown. But it's one of those weird chocolatey browns because you know when a chocolate bar is a little old and you open it up and it's kind of dusty colored. It's like you know, it's got a layer of fine dust over it, and it just, it doesn't, it just looks pale. Like, somehow, some of the chocolate is, like, run off. That's kind of what this is looking like. But... That's it. Just slap things around because you can't pay attention to where your hand's going. Yeah, i get some more. I'll get a little bit more of my eye primer and put over that. Get a nice big chunk on your brush and stick it where you don't intend to. Anyway, I will have whatever this look comes out as. And this outfit on for the book channel that I'm going to do right after this using the clothes I've got on and the makeup look. Because it don't make no sense to change clothes at this point. The other thing is the living room here is definitely warmer and weirder lit than my little corner of the bedroom here. Now, even though I was talking about all that heat, we got a visit from a early Arctic Vortex that came flying down through here. And for the last week, it's been nigh on to freezing outside at night. It's it, We've got that, that desert differential thing. We drop like 30 to 40 degrees during the evening when the sun goes down. It's only 75 degrees currently, and it's 6.30 in the evening here. 
And they're expecting it to be 44 tonight. That's chilly. That is chilly. Now that's Fahrenheit. No, I don't currently have my weather station set up for dual measurement. But, hey, it's how it worked. And, you know, I've got, where, where did all this weird weather come from? It just, it's driving me crazy. All this strangeness is just absolutely nuts. I have no idea what in the heck is going on. I mean, we went from practically boiling in our own juices to now having gorgeous weather. But even the gorgeous weather is hard to enjoy because like the reservoirs are way down so they're telling people not to go swimming in the reservoirs and you still can't go out and have like a grilling picnic or something out in one of the parks because it's too dry it's so dry they keep us on red alert for fire hazard. There are to be no fires of any kind. So, you know, where people would normally be out grilling and such, we haven't. And neither have our neighbors. Nobody is doing any grilling. They're just not. It's too dry. It's too dangerous. And it's like we haven't really even gone fishing because it's been so dry. About half of the creeks we normally would be looking at are really low. Which is very sad. I like to go fishing. I like to go fishing a lot. I go fishing. Anyway, what I put up in here is called box office. It's kind of a dusty pink. What I'm playing with on the inner corner here is called Theater, and it's kind of a pastel turquoise. I'm just kind of filling in in there to keep it from being too dark with the brown. Doodly doo. I have no plan. I really haven't. Now, what else has been going on? Oh, I hit the thrift store. I did. I hit it. This is one of my finds. Nice turquoise shirt. Which goes really well with my turquoise and black skirt. For any of you who are familiar with LuLaRoe, I don't buy Lulu unless I find it at the thrift store. Because I love the feel of those britches. I love the fabric that they use for the leggings. And I came out with some really cute 
cute leggings. One pair is a deep mustard gold that I can wear with that mustard gold shirt that I like to wear. And there's a pair that's got a little bit of teal and a little bit of purple on a black background that are really cute. And I'm just, I love going thrift shopping. If I need clothes, the majority of my clothes in the closet right now are all thrift shop. I have very, very few brand new. It just, it just don't happen. It's like budget is tight. I'm on social. The old man's on social. Christmas is coming. Yes, I know. I'm a little early talking about Christmas is coming. Unless you're trying to buy stuff for your grandkids. And you're on a budget. So, while I'm trying to do that, this one is lights down. It's kind of a dark gray green sort of I think it's more gray than green but it looked interesting so I'm going all right let's put this in here just like that yes So I have canceled my Ipsy bag. I have canceled my birch box. And okay, granted, this last Ipsy bag that I got, I ended up with this palette. The fluid palette, otherworldly. And it's a really nice looking palette. It really is. It's got some interesting stuff in it. This down here is a deep purple. Right now, looking at my monitor, it looks brown, but that's a deep purple. And then you've got some yellows and stuff. And then you've got this one kind of dusty olive green up here. And then this one really bright green. But the colors in here, you've got this, which is a fine glitter. The gold, which is a fine glitter, and then this pinky purple up here that's kind of chunky. And it's, it's an interesting brand. It's an interesting palette. I'm planning on having a lovely time with this. But this now... With this palette added to my collection now puts me at a 65 palette, 85 palettes, 65. <laughs> Missed that one a long time ago. But 85 bloody palettes. What do I need 85 palettes for? I don't go out to work. I don't hardly go out of the house. I don't do reviews. And while I encourage people of a certain age to get off their duff and don't let any gatekeepers or fashion police tell them what they can or cannot wear, 
I, I don't need to be acquiring that many new palettes all the time. And at this point, the, the little bags and boxes, that's about all I'm doing is just collecting palettes. And I have so many at this point, I'm not getting to them all. And it's kind of annoying, and it's a little discouraging. I mean, if I'm going to have all these palettes, I need to be using them. And not just like going, yeah, well, it's in the collection. I'm just not that chick. Well, all right. Let me back up and take another run at that. I was. I was that chick. I was the one that had to have the newest and the bestest and the greatest and, and, and get it first and get it now. One problem. First problem. I don't have that kind of money anymore. I am not working as an attorney's assistant. I'm not working as a clinical assistant. I'm not doing a nice professional job like I used to. Where I had a bit more of the to take myself down the hall and go do something. And I've had to remind myself of that more than once, that money does not grow on trees. Money is in scarce supply for more than just me. Please remember, do not put wet brushes into the palette. Put the brush in the palette, pick up your pigment, spray the pigment, and then dry off the ferrule, you know, a piece of metal or plastic that holds the, the bristles to the handle. Because if you loosen up the glue inside the ferrule, by letting too much liquid get down in it, then you will have an expensive stick, not a brush. But I don't need all kinds of makeup. I don't have an excuse for it. And like I said, I'm not doing I am not doing reviews. I am not going out to, and I, I don't get this stuff on PR. I've had one incidence of PR. One. And that was some Apto skin care. Long way back. And here in a few days, I will be at another anniversary for my channel. My first film went up on YouTube August 28th, 2018. And yeah, if you check my numbers, yeah, I'm still under 300 on this. But I enjoy doing it. So, yeah. I'm going to keep doing it because I've got tons of supplies. The only thing I really run out of lately is like Consquealer and, and eyeshadow primer. You know... The stuff that get used a lot. So.
So yeah, as long as I've still got supplies, I will continue to do this stuff because I enjoy doing it. But I'm not going to keep buying more pallets. I don't have a reason to. I don't have an excuse to. There is no sense in buying a bunch more pallets. It's like I did, did get a few pallets over time, either because I wanted them or because I was gifted with some of them that I used to do collabs with because people were supplying me with either, you know, their duplicates because somebody sent them something or stuff that they just no longer use, which helped out when I was first getting started doing this. And I would use them for doing collaborations because when they were sending me one of their dupes or like Miss Pink Sweets did when there was a bunch of us going to do a special collaboration to celebrate Paulina. I couldn't afford Paulina's palette that she had with Blush Tribe. Which is unfortunately a defunct company now. And I wanted to participate. But can't, didn't have the money and all that. So Miss Pink Sweet says, I want you to be doing this. So she ordered me one. Which was absolutely outstandingly delightful. And I have been grateful for that opportunity forever. I still miss that she's not on YouTube like she used to be, but, you know, I can't keep up with her on Facebook and a little bit on Instagram, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Facebook has got a group called Makeup Madness where you can find her on a fairly regular basis, which is wonderful. Just a tiny little bit of that gray. Just to kind of pull things together here. Wee! Now, I'm going to shut the camera off for a few minutes and clean this up just a little bit. You know, I got overflow here and there. Clean it up just a little bit and use my one of my favorite tricks, which is I've got little baby washcloths. What do I do with the current one? It's run away so much junk on my desk. I need to fix this. Need to clean up. It's awful. I need to clean up. All right, let's do it this way because I can't find the one I pulled. I'll just reach down in this drawer, pull another one. I get these little thin 
baby microfiber washcloths. Six for a blessed dollar at Dollar Tree. Some Dollar Tree micellar water. Get my finger up in the corner like you would with a beauty wipe and just sharpen the edge, clean that up a little. Change sides, sharpen that up just a little. Doodly do. And I've still got plenty of room to do a few more things in case I need it. And when this thing is too full, right into the laundry it goes. And then I got these that I picked up at Dollar Tree. They're just little terry cloth rounds. And on one side, they've got a little bit of nylon net. And let me tell you, this is much kinder to your brushes than a color switch ever thought to be, especially if you are using natural fiber brushes. Because those color switch, the, the sponge material that they put in the bottom of the color switch is so rough. It just, it tears up the fibers on your brushes. And you may not notice it immediately, but it's there. And it will catch up with you. Anyway, that's actually looking kind of spiffy. I'm going to finish up. Put some liner on, put some mascara on, put a face on, and I'll be back. No, really, I'll be back. Ah. Hello, I'm back. Yes, indeed. And this is the finished look with that popcorn palette. And I'm having fun with it. I like it. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of my silly opinions about not needing so many palettes. Tell me what you would do if you were in a similar situation where your budget was kind of ugly, but you like doing your YouTube stuff and 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 well, buying this stuff, excuse me, dinner is talking back. You know, you like buying your YouTube stuff. You like doing your YouTube stuff. And God help me, it's at least mildly addicting, if not worse. I have a shopping issue anyway that goes along with my bipolar. It's like shopping and purchasing, and purchasing and shopping. But I would much rather start getting more use out of what I've already got than adding to a collection that I wouldn't be able to use up in the next 30 years. And I'm not sure I've got that long. You know, once you get to about 60 some, you know, start having to think about short timing. I mean, I have lost far too many friends recently over the last few years that hadn't even got this far yet. And that scares me. I mean, what am I going to do? With I can't put this stuff in my will. Nobody's going to want it by then. And, you know, it's like, no. 
it's just yeah, no, just not it. I don't need any more. If I want a particular color that I don't have, if I can figure it out, I'll mix my own with that one color. I don't need to buy a whole palette for that one color. And if I can't manage to mix it using the materials I have that I have had a great deal of fun with, if I can't manage to do it for myself, I'll buy a single that's close enough. A single. I have Z palettes. I'm good with it. I have magnetic palettes. I can just collect them and go on. What do you think? I mean, would you give up your your subscription boxes? Would you? Would you cry if you gave them up? Would you go out shopping now that things are opening up more to, like, fix the craving? Anything's possible, but I want you to think about it. 85 palettes. And do you know how I figured out that I've got 85 palettes? It wasn't from just sitting and counting them. I grabbed one of the picker wheel um, applications and put it on my computer. And I sat down and I typed all of the palette names and companies into that picker. It gave me a list of 85 palettes. That's what I've got. And that includes the mini bites and the full size and all of my um magnetic palettes that are conglomerations of all kinds of stuff i got that many palettes i need to use some stuff up i need to think about project pan i doubt that i will do an actual project pan i'm not dedicated enough to keep But I'm having a great time using up stuff that I've gotten. I mean, I've got stuff that I've had since my first subscription boxes. I've still got some of it. And it's like, I just got my Ipsy the other day for August. And there was things like milk makeup in there. And this is one of the ones that's supposed to be lip and cheek. I don't like doing the lip and cheek thing. I either put it on the cheeks or I put it on the lips. In this case, I've got, where'd that pencil go? Yeah. I've got a Lord and Barry pencil called Maxi. 2100 maxi mat that came in a box that I put on. It's kind of a bright thing. And then I put this milk makeup on. And I don't think it looks too bad. And in the stuff that I got, I got a liquid, sparkling liquid eyeshadow by the bomb. And this one is, it's called Rose. It looks like copper to me, but it's called Rose. 
And it, it's a really nice liquid eyeshadow. And it's really pretty. I mean, look at that. It's really pretty. But, poor thing, even at that size, will probably be dried out before I use it all. I mean, I've got bunches of this stuff. Bunches. So, I need to use the stuff that I've got. Get more use out of the stuff that I've got. And I've actually recruited my husband into helping me with this. I have to go make the case to him about buying any more palettes. I have to show him that it's so completely different that it's worth the money. Otherwise, he's going to make me sit here <laughs> and dig through all of my other palettes and show him that I don't already have those colors. And it's got to be more than one. One does not cut him. Anyway, not too bad for hooded eyes. Yeah, I know I need to go redo my hair need to bleach the roots and redo my color. I'm kind of faded. And I think it has more to do with the weather than anything because we're technically starting to head into fall. And it is not going to be a pretty fall. Too many of the, the trees have already dropped their leaves just because they don't have the water for them. It's going to be too dry and the leaves are going to give up before we ever get the pretty color changes. So that's kind of sad. I'm actually hoping I get snowed in on a regular basis this coming winter because if I do, that means it should help take care of some of the water levels around here anyway tell me what you think tell me what you would do with that palette tell me if you've got your own collection from a thrift store it's like i've got a pair of shoes two pair of shoes over there that i bought recently that are actually new shoes one of them is a pair of slip-on sneaks because me and shoes have been having an argument lately. I used to get my shoes from the thrift store all the time. However, with the diabetes and the neuropathy, that's becoming kind of a no-go situation. If they don't fit right, I may not feel it if they pull a blister up on my foot. So, yeah, no pre-broke shoes. So, yeah, there you go. Now, I've also got a project coming up where one of my cousins Miss Elaine is one of the people that follows me on here. Bless her little heart. Now, when I did that kind of strange aesthetic thing where I, it's like I did, did, you know, glam farmer core and was showing off, you know, what you should wear to, to the the ladies' luncheon for the at the abattoir 
on stock day. And then what you should wear for the evening thereafter and sticking to the to the cowgirl kind of thing. But being more suburban. And just, you know, glam up the cowgirl, all right? She wants me to take some of these outfits I've been showing off and the ones I've been collecting. And instead of just ha hanging them like this so you can see them, she wants me to actually put them on and put the camera somewhere else so that she can see me walking around in this stuff. She wants to get a better look at the outfits because she has fun listening to me talk about going shopping. Excuse me. And my throat's getting a little dry with all of the smoke that we've had around here lately because of how near some of the wildfires are. I, I get hoarse real quick. Anyway, tell me what you think. Tell me what you're going to do. Tell me whether or not you could give up your subscription box. Now, I know Leanne is is going to look at me and go, give up my what? Oh, no. There's a few others like that. But I know Leanne would not give up her subscription boxes. Every time I turn around, she got a new one. But if you want to know the difference between hooded eyes and deep set eyes, go to 4F Beauty. And check out Ms. Angie. If you want to see subscription boxes and what you can sort of expect from the different companies that do subscription boxes, go see Miss Leanne. Yes, I'm calling out on some of my buddies. Now, if you want to see somebody doing shop my shop my stash or doing bargain hunting beyond anything else you want to think about, there is is my so-called life 1977. And Miss Nona has got that all sewed up. I'll try and remember to put everybody's links down in the description. Anyway, go see the peeps. I'm going to turn off this time for the end of this. And then go do my book. If you get bored at some point, you can always come over to the book channel and have a look. Mind your manners. Keep your distance. People are still getting sick because of the new variants. Get your vaccine. Don't argue with me. Wear your mask if you are back under restriction for your area. Don't be a fool. Drive safe. Be good.